There will never be a single person who has not seen a loss in their life. Sometimes that loss doesn't mean it's going to take you underground and make you bankrupt. No, but if you were earning easily at some stage, there will come a time when that earning is not going to be the same. For Allah to test you, what are you going to do? Do you realize before we made you, we already told you what we're going to do to you? Before we made you, we told you we're going to test you. You have a beautiful job and suddenly it's no longer there. Or you have a beautiful job, beautiful salary and suddenly they're cutting down on, on salaries. And you have to take a cut rather than an increase. All of us want increase, isn't it? Salaries, you want increase. And they tell you, look, you know what? Either you take a cut or we can't afford you anymore. You have to make a big decision. Don't become depressed. Turn to Allah. Read two raka'at of salah. When the Prophet was, was overcome by something, he used to quickly go to salah. Whenever there was something of concern, he used to read salah. And that salah used to help so much. You're getting closer to Allah. You are praying to Allah. So Allah says, we will test all of you with loss. You cannot make a profit every day. You cannot be on a good wicket every day. There will be loss. The deals, when you buy certain things, some of those things, there will be baraka in and some of them no baraka in. Sometimes you buy a car and it lasts for 10 years and it's still like new. And sometimes you buy a car and the first year it's already damaged and broken and it's like a waste. Well, that was from Allah. He tested you. So long as you are not reckless, so long as you try to look after the ni'mah of Allah, you need to now move on. You need to thank Allah and carry, do something about it. The situation that you are in, don't dig a hole in the ground and start becoming depressed. Thank Allah, no matter what it is. That's why on the day of judgment, those going to Jannah, one of the categories, a caller will call, Aina alladheena kanu yahmadoon Allah fi sarra'i wa dharra. And they will be granted Jannah. Who, where are those who used to praise Allah? At times of ease and at times of goodness, they used to say, Alhamdulillah, come, we want to give you Jannah. Imagine, Allah is telling you, those who used to thank me when they were in hardship, I want to give them Jannah. Because they're thanking me, at least I gave them something. Compare yourself with someone worse than you, you still have a gift. So my brothers and sisters, when you something negative happens to you, you say, Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal. I praise Allah on all conditions. A'udhu billahi min hali ahli nar. Only I seek Allah's protection from the condition of those who are in the fire, the people of the fire. So learn to thank Allah. Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal.